a field for crops. Now, first things first, my disclaimer, this is how I like to play the game. There are many different ways, many different orders that you can do this, but I am going to show you the way that I like to play. Second disclaimer is, it all depends, what I'm going to show you now is with everything turned on, so crops and growth apart from crop destruction. Me no likey crop destruction, I turn it off. I'm here for fun. So, periodic ploughing on, fieldstone on, lime required on, and weeds on. You can turn these off if you like, but this guide is going to show you how to process the field with all of these elements already on. Okay, so starting off, you need a tractor. I have three here. This is what you start off with Elm Creek, these three on uh, New Starter. Now this is the equipment that you need. So, cultivator, a plow, a stone picker, a cedar or a planter, a weeder, a, fertil uh, well, a fertilizer sprayer. This one I'm using for lime. This one can take solid fertilizer and lime, a roller, and fertilizer. I'm using solid fertilizer here. You can use liquid fertilizer. It's all down to your personal preference. So, again, everything I'm doing here is personal preference. Um, and I've also put them in the order of how I like to play. So, that is something for you to consider. Now, look at the ground. Not only is there stones that need to be picked up, but first things first, it needs ploughing. It tells us it needs lime. And there's already weeds growing. We need to get rid of these weeds early. Um, it also is at 0% fertilised. You need two applications of fertiliser. Um, one in one day or one month, one the next month. Can't be done in the same game month. Let's get started. So, we're going to start with the plough. If you have periodic ploughing off, you're going to want to use the cultivator. Now, you would use the cultivator after you have uh, harvested, okay? And that texture looks like this. So you would run a cultivator over this if you have periodic ploughing off. If you have periodic ploughing on, you'll be looking at needing to plough the fields every three crop cycles. Okay? So this field needs ploughing. I do not need to cultivate. So I'm going to skip the cultivating process straight to ploughing. Another thing to note, if you use a direct drill, you don't need to cultivate. You can drill directly into the harvested ground. It's just something to keep in mind. So to plough, you um, make sure the, the plough is out. You lower. Make sure you don't have allow crate fields on. That's the triangle. Make sure you don't have that on, okay? and you just drive, accelerate. There's no turning it on, you just drive. And you can see the texture is changing from this flat to the turned ground. So we've now got it all turned over. And you can see here, the stones are coming up again. That is why I plow first, then I pick up the stones. So whilst that tractor is getting plowing, I am going to grab another tractor and we're going to get ready for stone picking. So this stone picker is the cheapest on the market. Um, there are others. My favourite is the Elo. I'll show that to you really quickly. Stone pickers, this one here, the Scorpio um, 550. You can also download a mod where it takes it from 5.5 metres to over 9 metres wide. So if you're using or have big fields you're going to want a bigger um meter meterage but the one i've got here is this one 
that I'm highlighted here. 25,000 US dollars. It can hold 2.3 thousand meters squared of uh, stones. Only needs 100 miles an hour to pull it, and it's two meters wide. So it's perfectly fine for this size of field. Just very quickly, the plow that I'm using is this plow here. Only 16,000, 2.5 meter width, 160 horsepower pulling power. That's something to consider. Have you got a uh, tractor that can pull this? Um, so just a couple of things that you need to take into consideration. So we're going to attach the um, stone picker. Get it in position. Now this stone picker actually folds out. So if I click and hold L1, press cross, hopefully this plow is going to go round me. Okay, lower with circle and press square to turn it on. And again, simply just drive. It's fast, but it takes a while to turn round at the other end. And can you see the texture is changing? The stones are gone. Okay, nice and simple, right? Yeah, really simple. Now, when you have a worker going, it takes them quite some time to adjust uh, the stone picker and then you get situations like this where they start to clash. So it's fun to bear in mind how much time each worker would need or you would need. You might be doing this all yourself and if you are, no, none of what I just said is relevant. Um, lower, turn it back on and drive. So you can see there I missed a little bit. You do need to get that lined up quite well. Hopefully they won't clash again. Okay, I'm going to bring you in once these two processes are completed. Once they're completed, we're going to move into putting some seeds in the ground. I'll see you in a moment. Bye for now. Welcome back. Next step, um, I've got the stone picker still going the plowing is completed and as you can see now that it's been plowed we do not need to do any weeding um generally you will need to do weeding um oh you've got yourself stuck you need to do weeding if you cultivate um but weeds will grow sorry this dude is not getting the turning circle very good at all there we go move you out of the way um weeding will happen and will pop up at any time so keep an eye on your fields even if you think right i've done everything now just need to let it grow no keep an eye on it you don't want to have to put herbicide on um so next thing let's jump in the deer we are going to put some crop in the ground. So grab your cedar and let me show this to you on the hub. So if you go to tools, um, you have cedars and planters. Now let me talk you through the difference. So cedars can put in the ground uh, wheat, uh, barley, oat. Now those three produce uh, your uh, straw, okay? Then you've got canola, soybeans, sorghum, uh, the oilseed rape, and grass. Now, planters can do corn, sunflower, some can do soy as well, the soybeans, sugar beet, and cotton. Now, if you look at the size, you can do anything from three meters all the way up to um, this one here is 17.4 meters that can be massive so if you've got big fields you can get them done in a jiffy now some of these also if you take a look at the bottom you can see they accept seeds as well as fertilizer 
Now this means that you can, when you're seeding, putting the seeds in the ground, you can also fertilize at the same time. So you're putting that first application of fertilizer down so you don't have to run over it again. Now if you take a look at the seeder that we have, the cheapest one available, um, just seed. So have a look at that, okay? Some of them have um, the option for you to use both. It cuts down your time, cuts down your workload. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna line this one up to get it ready. First things first, we need to choose what we're putting in the ground. Now I'm going to put barley in this field. So there's two ways you can find out what you are switching it to. Um, bottom right, you see where it's at 72% of seeds. You can see the little icon there. Or if I click and hold L1, you can see select seeds halfway down is grass. We're going to select barley. Okay, then we're going to lower and turn on the seeder. Ah, okay, apologies, let me turn off. Um, that's another thing to think about. I'm not going to teach you that in this particular lesson. Um, seasonal growth. Let's turn it off. Okay, seasonal growth just makes the game more realistic. It means that you can only plant certain things in certain times of the month. So let's start seeding. Simply just drive. And now you can see on the field info, we now have barley. And you can see now two more things have popped up. Needs lime, needs rolling. Well, that's handy. We have lime and we have our roller. So that is all complete. And as you can see now, we just need lime and rolling. So we jump in. And let me show you this particular spray spreader that I've selected. This spreader can actually hold, um, as I mentioned, fertilizer, solid fertilizer as well. You'll find it under tools, fertilizer spreaders, and this is the one that I've picked here. Bottom right, you can see lime and solid fertilizer icons. Got a great um, literage. It can hold 9,000 liters. You can also increase it. Um, so that it can hold 11,000 or 14,000. The other thing I really like about this spreader is you can increase the size of the spreading discs um, to from 12 meters to 18 meters so that it goes further. Um, that does make the uh, piece of equipment go from 45,000 to 54,375 if you do both of those things. So it's just a consideration there for you. Now, this is super easy thing to do, liming. You just make sure you turn on the piece of equipment and you start driving. And simply it just sprays out the back. Nice and simple, as you can see. And now, lime has gone from the list. Yield bonus has now gone up from 36%, I think it was. Okay, that's 35. It changes every so often. To 40, to 49, to 50%. When this comes back down, it will go up higher. See, this is 35% here. Our next job is to roll. So I have a roller over here. There are cheaper ones on the Mod Hub. I would really recommend you go to the Mod Hub and have a look. I do have a video on how to download mods from the Mod Hub. I would encourage you to take a look at that as well. This particular roller, let me show you. There is a section under Tools, Rollers, and these are the two which are included in the base game. The only difference is the size. This one already goes 12.3 meters wide, which as you can imagine for a small farm, that's plenty. Now you can double that, or almost double, 24.3, but you will it will set you back 140,500 US dollars. And if you have a look, one of the other things to consider to pull this big boy here, you would need 350 horsepower. You need a very big and powerful tractor. So again, this is a nice and simple thing to do. 
you pull the roller around whilst you're moving start unfolding by l press and hold l1 and click cross now you lower and you simply start driving I'll get to the worker on that and as you can see that is now completed we now have 53% yield bonus I'm just going to jump in this sprayer and finish off the bits which is missed this isn't the easiest um, area to navigate for a worker okay here we go oh I've missed a bit there as well I'll go back and sort that in a second. I miss that bit as well. Okay, are you gonna go? I don't want to get in his way. There we go. That's that a little bit. I'm going to leave that last a little bit because I'm going to get in the dude's way. The last piece of this puzzle is fertilising. Now, I mentioned to you at the beginning of this, you'll want to be fertilising each crop twice, each field twice. Now, some planters can have fertiliser and seeds, so you can do the first load of fertiliser at the same time as putting no seeds in the ground. That is a really helpful thing. Stays on your workload. But if you go down to fertiliser spreaders, this is the one I recommend. Um, this one has 42 metres wide um, uh, sprayer and 30, uh, 3,200 litres. It's very, very good. Very, very good indeed. The one thing is, this one doesn't tell you how much horsepower you need to pull. I've never understood why that is. Um, but, again, very good bit of kit. And the one which I showed you earlier, that can do solid fertiliser. All you would need to do is unload the fertiliser. Quite simply, all you need to do is lower the fertiliser, press and hold L1 and circle, get yourself in position and then when you're ready press square to turn on the fertilizer and as you can see at this width you can get a lot done in a very small amount of time that is now 50% fertilized what I'm now going to do I'm going to skip on another month Okay, you go to the trigger, sleep, wake up at 7 in the morning. Okay. My next job is to apply another load of fertilizer. That's my next job. So, here we go. Let's jump back in. Let's turn her around. and get applying as you can see now that is 100% fertilized and the yield bonus is at 98% now if you had canola sunflowers or potato planted you will want to put some bees nearby because this increases the yield bonus those extra couple of percent up to um, 100 percent now how do you get bees you ask um, so you go to the construction panel quick way to do that on the PlayStation is press and hold L1 and press the d-pad then go across to animals and here are the bees here if you place one of these close by you'll get a bonus but that is only if it is canola or potatoes or sunflowers just a quick top tip there 
Um, and yeah, that's it. You sit back, watch, and wait. Do come back and check on the weeds, though. Really important. If weeds get in here, you need to deal with it. Um, otherwise, it will affect your yield. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have, please give me a like. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. But most of all, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you very much. Bye for now.